In this short video, I'm going to talk about give what belongs to Caesar. Now, there's a scripture here in Mark, chapter 12, verse 12 through 17. Let's read that. Then the chief priest, the teachers of the law, and the elders looked for a way to arrest him, because they knew he had spoken the parable against them. But they were afraid of the crowd, so they left him and went away. Later, they sent some of the Pharisees and Herodians to Jesus to watch him in his words. They came to him and said, Teacher, we know that you are a man of integrity. You aren't swayed by others, because you pay no attention to what they are. But you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. So what is their problem? So they're asking him now, Is it right to pay the imperial tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or shouldn't we pay? But Jesus knew their hypocrisy. Why are you trying to trap me, he asked. Bring me a denarius and let me look at it. They brought the coin and he asked them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? Caesar's, they replied. Then Jesus said to them, Give back to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's. And they were amazed at him. I see an awful lot of this going on today when uh, people try to entrap you in your words. So it's very important that you know how to handle that. How do you handle it? First of all, by being well read, well researched, and you know what you're talking about. You're not using many words to cloud issues. You're, for the most part, direct to the point. You quote scripture. You try not to give your own opinion and let the truth speak for itself. What is this? When Jesus says, give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar, and what belongs to God to God. First of all, who is Caesar? Caesar represents the governmental authority. And back then it was the Roman government. So if you are in the United States, then the governmental authority over you and I is the United States government. That's our Caesar. So what does Caesar, that's here in the United States, for example, ask of you and I? if you're an American, that we pay our taxes. Why? Because Caesar created the tax. So we pay the tax. Now, God created us. So what does God ask of us? That we worship him. So the lesson here is, is that our worship and allegiance does not belong to Caesar. It belongs to God and God alone. This is R. Jerome Harris. Thank you for listening.